This guy's prestige 52 Myers. Holy fuck. All right, so survivors actually look on. Like they fucking did it. They fucking did the thing. Let's go. They did the thing immediately. First try. You'll love to see it. These motherfuckers read the rules. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> eerie add on, though? Oh, wait. Do they have Eerie add on? Tier 2 immediately. Oh, wait. Yeah, they have a syringe, though. All right. So, minus two points for the syringe. But, hey, that's fine. I mean, you know, they're trying. They're trying. They put in effort. Uh, he has a thing, though. He's already Tier 2. He's following this Steve. Finds a Rebecca. They boon. He might. He can maybe snuff that real quick, but he might not even bother. He's looking at the floor right now because he's trying to get a stack of play with your food. That's that's what this is. This is how old Legion players used to play. Because you can basically drop chase while still chasing people. Unfortunately, I think that Rebecca was a little bit too close because I think her like legs were showing into his vision. You see how he just got a sack right there? This is literally how old Legion players used to play back when bleeding out was based on chase. They would just follow people while looking at the ground and then it would break chase. So he's doing that to basically follow Rebecca and actually get stack it, it, it like breaks chase and he gets stacks to play with your food while doing it he's at, this is actually a really good spot for him he's currently about to get a second stack i think he keeps seeing her her feet though that's what's happening okay actually actually he broke chase right there so never mind it worked out pretty well look at this kitty this this, this, this is such a good spot he blocked it oh and, I, and that'll be his third stack oh Oh, 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 oh shit, dude! Oh shit! This guy knows. So he's 99% his tier three. He has three stacks to play with your food, and he has, you know, oh Megan, Megan, oh Megan, oh fuck, dude, oh no, Megan, <laughs> dead, dude, fucking dead. Oh my god, and he still has three sacks to play with your food, too. He can maybe just try to follow this up and just do it again. He can literally... Okay, he just gets a hit instead. He, he It would not be crazy for him to literally just get another tombstone, though. Like, it's not even that unrealistic for him just to kill another one. But even right now, if he just if he just decides to play this normally, which I think he will, right? Like, like I feel like the rest of his build is just kind of normal Myers gameplay, right? Like, sloppy, deadlock, corrupt. This is all just kind of like normal Myers gameplay. So I feel like at this point, he's just going to play normal, right? He's just going to down people, hook them. And, and, and at this point, it's a 3v1. It's a 3v1 so fast. Like, so fast. That was so quick. Like, immediately. He's going to try to get another stack here off this Rebecca, which he should get it because she has a ton of distance right now. So he should get another stack of uh, play with your food. That was so good of him to find the obsession early, get his stacks. He hits the, he hits the obsession. He gets a stack at the same time, though. Looks like he's going he's gonna to go after Steve here. He might just try to get Steve out, which, again... If he, if he does, if he can manage to get Steve out of this game, like, quickly, that's basically GG, right? Like, turning the game to a 2v1 is, like, basically game over. Gets that hit, thanks to play with your food. Again, that play with your food stat coming in really clutch there. That Steve probably thought he could make that that pallet based on his distance, and he, and then he couldn't because of play with your food. Play with your food is so fucky that way, man, because, like, you, you, you see how much distance you have on the killer, and you're like, okay, I should have just enough distance to make this pallet. And then you don't make the pallet, and you're like, wait, what? Hold on, I should have made that. And then you don't realize that there's a little tiny 5% speed boost that the killer has that you're not used to, right? So that's probably what happened there. Steve goes down again. And again, Myers is in just such a commanding spot right now. Just in such a commanding position. This was such a good use of Tombstone, man. This is what I've been waiting for with a Myers for so, so long. Um, Finds the Rebecca over here. Oh, she's injured too. So she's going to go down as well. What's the what's the Zarina doing? Zarina's on her way to get the save, but yeah, again, at this point, it's going to be way too hard for them to get anything done, right? Like, the fact that it's a 3v1 this quickly, it's just going to be so tough now, right? And the fact that people are going down as well, like, they're, they're going to be, they're gonna have to be constantly worrying about unhooking and making sure they're not dying, as well as deadlock existing. Oh, man. And they have to get all four gens done and get some people out in order to win this, right? Like, if they if they don't get all four gens done, or, 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 all, five, or all five gens done, I should say, then they, they have no chance. So there's another gen getting done. Oh, he finds a Steve. This pallet is not that good. So yeah, he gets it down here. This is not a safe pallet at all. And that's going to be a, a, a kill there too. Well, actually, yeah, there should be a kill. This guy should be full dead. So yeah, Steve is going to be full dead now. And now it's going to be a 2v1. And now it's just over, right? It's basically just over now. Now again, depending on like how mean he wants to play it, like the next hook he gets, he can literally just stand in front of the hook and then he wins basically. 
Like if, if he really wants to, if he really wants to, if he wants to just end the game, he can basically just do that, right? Like the next person he downs, he just downs him, puts him on hook, and then just fucking stands there, right? He literally just stands there in front of the hook, and then GG. It's literally GG. Like there's no way for the survivors to like save and do all three gens, and like they, they probably can't even save at all if he plays it if he plays it correctly. So looks like he's gonna stalk here. Does he want to get a tombstone for the finish here? Is that is that what this is? Does he want a tombstone somebody else? <laughs> I, think he, I think he wants to get another tombstone, man. I think he's trying to go out with style points. To be fair, this Zarina has not been hooked at all. So, I think tombstoning this Zarina would just be like a, a shortcut to, to killing her. You know what I mean? You'd just be doing it quicker. I don't know if he'll have enough. He will have enough, actually. He 99s it. So, he actually will have enough stock to get, to get another tombstone off of her if he wants. And there's also a boon right beside him. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't think survivors can win regardless. They they can win if they hypothetically, if they like hypothetically don't go down ever from here on out and then just do all the gens and leave. I think they could actually still eat one more hook state too, right? I think. Oh, he didn't get the tombstone though. Didn't quite get the tombstone. Instead gets the down on accident because she was spamming vaults on the window. It's kind of weird because if they're in the middle of an action, you don't get the tombstone, you, you get the down. And because she was spamming window vaults, it's hard. There's like a little like there's like a little split second window where if you press the button right, you can get it. But he must have missed the window. It's really hard to hit that window, especially with, especially with like latency and ping. So he didn't quite get it, but he tried for it. And down she goes. And again, if he wanted to, he could just stand in front of the hook here. Like he could literally just stand in front of the hook and end it. I mean, obviously that would be a little bit more boring to watch and maybe a little bit boring, a little bit more boring to actually play. So I think instead he's going to be looking around and trying to find the Rebecca to get a tombstone. Rebecca actually just getting the save though. And they're gonna be they're gonna be running away. Mm, yeah, so even right now, like even hypothetically, oh, oh no, Rebecca! Oh, oh well, never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna say, even right now they can still hypothetically win. Oh, that's oh my god! Oh my god, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm dying! What the fucking stretch armstrong shit was that, dude? That motherfucker was like his like fucking legs were in, like 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 three rooms down and his fucking arms were like extending into the fucking <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit. Alright, so now they can't win no matter what. Like the killers won no matter what at this point. Um, if, if this guy wants to get hatched for the sake of like, oh, he hears it. So if he wants, he wants to get hatched just for the sake of like getting out or whatever he can. But at this point, the the, the killer wins no matter what. Um, cause yeah, that's three dead. Yeah, yeah, that's that's wild. Holy fuck, that was that was crazy. Holy shit! I even a tombstone joke before the game started. Damn it! And that was the first person that got tombstone to the Meg. Oh no! Oh my god! What a game! Holy hell! That was so good. This guy played this so well. Like it, it also went like perfectly for him. The fact that he found the obsession early, so he was able to farm stacks uh, really quickly. He got to tier two really quickly as well. This this like build and strategy is actually really cool. I like this because you basically just focus on nothing but like play with your food and tombstone early game, and then your corrupt intervention doesn't go away, right? Because you're not actually downing anybody. And then once you actually get the kill, then corrupt intervention goes away, and then you just start playing the game like normal, right? I mean, it worked really well this game. I think it, again, I don't know if it'll always work really well. Like assuming people know it's coming or can see it coming or even think it might be a thing. You can always do like, you can always like jump in lockers or something to avoid it. Like there's a lot of ways to get around it if you know it's coming or even suspect that it's coming. So it seems like a really good build and a really good strategy, but I don't think it's flawless. So really well played. This was really cool to watch and uh, I'm excited to see this guy play again. So let's get another survivor team in and we'll see how this goes game two. All right, uh, survivors doing a good job of actually following the rules. You love to see it. Pog champ, not even alternate add-ons. Okay, let's see how it works again this time. So it should be interesting. Ooh, I actually put on fire up this time. Okay, so we took off sloppy, and people were saying I saw someone saying take off sloppy for Nemesis, which I thought was interesting. But instead, he said, "Fuck that! I'm gonna take it off for fire up." And actually, wait a minute, that's because he's not even running the tombstone anymore. Oh, he's mixing it up. I actually like this a lot because I feel like, again, you can assume that the, 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 that the people you're playing against are probably going to be like watching your previous games, right? So these guys might be expecting a tombstone now. So like, like I'm not going to be surprised at all if he pops tier three and then the first person he chases just jumps in a locker. Like if they just jump in a locker because they're like, I don't want to get tombstoned, right? They might do that and just get themselves killed. 
because like they're too afraid because they're afraid of a tombstone even though he doesn't even have one that might end up being a thing i'm not 100 subby wubby yeah the scoreboard's not updated i'm sure lemon will be on it I, I i don't know i don't know what's going on with it but i'm sure i'm sure lemon's probably handling it behind the scenes i don't know what's going on with it Ooh, finds rebecca too oh <laughs> late reaction though <laughs> not like this see i think larry's is, is is an interesting map too because i feel like the teams that are like relatively newer to this kind of thing like this feels like a map a map where like comms are very important right i mean I, I think comms are important on every map but like this map seems like it has very difficult comms he's faking it he's faking it right now yeah see he's faking it he's faking the tombstone he's literally faking it that's so <laughs> cheeky i love it he didn't hit that guy on the window even though he could have because he wants them to think he has a tombstone oh that's so cheeky they still don't know whether he has it or not he also saved his stack of play uh play with your food by grabbing that guy out of the locker he actually keeps his three stacks of play with your food too so like not only are they still unsure about what he's running he also still has stacks of play with your food so like they might panic now and just start jumping in lockers right like they might keep jumping in lockers and being like guys it's okay like just take the kills and as long as we like as, as long as we can wait out the tombstone it's fine right like that might be their their their, their mindset on it and then at some point they're gonna have to be like all right guys this tombstone has lasted a while <laughs> like some, something's going on here right he might just get it down here though yeah he does get it down there that you know i don't know if that really sells it or not that might be believable because that was a situation where like he wasn't gonna be on tombstone her regardless you know what i mean so he gets another down puts her on hook i mean bro in a pretty good spot though in a pretty good spot they got one gen done but again his tier three is gonna be forever now right he's just one shotting forever i'm curious to know if they're healing or not they're actually not healing no so i mean that's interesting because again you don't know you don't know what he's running yet but I, i'm sure once they figure out it's infinite they'll probably just stop healing altogether but huh oh uh, what uh, uh huh was this like a part of the my was this like a part of the i'm just gonna hold onto the gen so he can't tombstone me play is that what this is was that like a, hey, he's got a tombstone, so I might as well just commit. Uh, or is it just Meg? Is this just a Meg moment? I think this may, it might just be a Meg moment. This might just be like a, like a, like a, you know, like a, like a, like a, like a Meg brain, you know? What is Terra Radius? I don't know. All I can think of is Generator. I don't know. Hard to say. Either way, Destin gets hooked. Looks like you find someone over here. It's the Ada. It's the obsession, so he can get more sacks of play with your food if he wants. Looks like he's just gonna opt to get the kill though. At this point, I think Cat's out of the bag. They have to know that it's not Tombstone, right? They have to they have to know what's going on now. This tier three has lasted forever. He's also kind of like stopped trying to hide it. He's not like he's not like trying to bait Tombstone anymore. Like he's just downing people every chance he gets now. So I, I think Cat should be out of the bag. They should know what's going on. There's another gen done, but this should this is like his fourth hook. I don't know. I think he's been spreading the hooks decently though, right? I think everyone's been hooked once actually. So yeah, the, the hook spot is actually like perfectly even. No one's that close to death. They healed up, which is weird. So like maybe either either Rebecca doesn't realize or maybe she just wants to be quiet and stealthy. She could just be doing it for the stealthiness. It's hard to say. Guess the, guess the blind on him, but I think she's going to be. Yeah, see, this is why blinding at pallets is like honestly not like I feel like if you're going against a killer that has a brain and if you don't have Iron Will or uh, what's the other one? Parental Guidance. I feel like blinding at palace is just so bad, dude. Like, if you are if you don't have something to mask your injured sounds, like, you're just going to fucking die, dude. Like, they're just going to follow you while injured. So good on this Myers for having ears. He followed her while injured, took her straight to... He, she went straight to the window, and he just downed her as he came out of it. So, honestly, like, sick play from him. Um, cool, Meg's here. Gets the pallet throw. They actually have the Kate up, too, so they're somewhat recovered now. They're actually somewhat recovered. He does have this window. I, I thought he would vault that window with his tier three speed, honestly. I don't think it matters. I think he gets the kill anyway, so I guess it's fine. But I thought that was a pretty good opportunity to vault with your tier three speed. But hey, you know, what do I know? What do I know? Gonna get the hook, the, the hook on Meg. They're really not in that bad of a spot right now, all things considered, honestly. Like if they just kind of split up and do gens, this is where it's really important to, I think, calm though. And like, this is this is something I was trying to say earlier and I, and, I, and, I, and I couldn't finish my thoughts. This is a map where it's really, really hard to like calm well, if you don't like have experience with calming, right? 
Like, this is one of those maps where if you, if you just throw, like, random survivors on it and you tell them to actually have good comms, it's like, hey, I'm near the room with the tubs, you know? It's like, how the fuck do you know? Like, hey, I'm by the exit gate. Okay, well, where the fuck is that, you know? Like, it's hard to... It's hard to know how to calm this kind of thing unless you have like those like organized fucking comp comms where you have like a clock system or whatever, right? And I'm assuming that a lot of teams that are playing probably don't have that or don't like know that. I mean, maybe they do. I don't fucking know. Hard to say. But I think comms are going to be really, really important here to like say where he is and where he's going. That way you can get like a big head start if he's heading your way. The unhook comes in on Meg. He's just going to take this hook, I think. No? Gonna go after the Meg. Honestly, I think at this point he needs to get somebody out. I think that's like playing nice and just hooking everybody one time and stuff is like, don't get me wrong, it's 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 been going well so far, but I think it's getting to the point now where he needs to get somebody out, and I think he's gonna go for this Meg. So yeah, I think he's gonna try to get this Meg out like literally right now. Okay, falling around, he's gonna get her soon, gets that window. She doesn't really have anywhere to go though. She's basically dead. Yeah, down she goes. There it is though. How'd they do that without uh, around deadlock? Did they like three, two, one that or some shit? How they, how they do that? They pop both the last two gens at the exact same time through deadlock. Uh oh. Uh oh. They, the Myers might actually be in trouble here. I mean, we'll see. These gates are hard to they're hard to get, but he's also walking away from the slugs entirely. Oh, uh oh. Oh, does anyone have unbreakable? Oh, the one guy that's unbreakable got picked up. What are the chances, dude? What are the chances of that shit? Oh, he's just gonna start hooking now. He knows the Meg is dead, so he's gonna hook the Meg and kill her. That was so unlucky for these guys, dude. That was so unlucky that the only person that got hooked was the Unbreakable guy, because if they would have been anybody else, they would have honestly been in a pretty good spot. They would have been able to pick up and just immediately get out. Now, in order to win, they actually, I think if they leave with these two healthy, I think they win. Or sorry, if they, or sorry, not healthy. If they just leave with these two, I think they win. I don't think they have to save here, right? It's not that nine hooks total is win condition. So yeah, actually, if they leave with these two, they actually win. Oh. Yeah, I think they win. If they if they know win condition, they actually win. How did they get those gens done, dude? That was crazy. I think they like three, two, one those gens. And uh like or something, right? And like got them done through deadlock. That's crazy, man. Wow. One in three. The chances were one in three. Ha ha ha, chat. Fuck you. You, you know what I mean. All right. I know the chances were one in three, but that's what I'm saying. They got unlucky. Okay. You fucks. That was crazy, though. That was wild. What a game. I mean, honestly, this Myers played that really, really well. Yes. The Myers played this really, really well. And again, I love that he was like baiting the tombstone early. Like, I fucking love that, dude. That was amazing. I love the fact that he like knew these guys were expecting tombstone because he just played it last game. So he like used that to his advantage to bait early game. That was so sick. And I fucking loved that. That was so, so good. Um, and I, this Myers in general is just amazing to watch. I love this guy. This guy was great. Uh, but honestly, kudos to these survivors for like actually bringing that back and like being like well organized enough to actually get those gens done and get out. Cause that was looking grim. Honestly, that was looking really grim. It was looking like it was going to go south really, really quickly. And again, I think as much as I hate saying this, cause I hate like promoting this, but it feels like, again, it feels like the games where you focus one person out and get them out quickly is they just go so differently than the games where you like kind of play a little bit more nice and like spread out hook states. Like had he maybe focused down one person out early, I think this could have been a different game. Um, which again, I hate that that's a thing, but it does feel like it's a thing. And they ended up just having like just enough. They had like just enough efficiency to like get the gens done. And it was like, it was like so close on both sides. Like there were so many situations where like, you know, one more slip up on, 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 on the survivor side and they were dead. But hey, I mean, well played by them. Well played by them.